dude. I mean, it's only taken like a thousand clicks, but this is fine. Oh, there it goes. What's that bright? Oh, is that? Oh, that's the sun. Um, we're doing it. We're flying away in a house. I love this. YouTube, Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tear Down. And folks, I have a gun called the Armageddon Gun. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna shove it up the zombie's and I'm not even sure I can show this on video. And oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, this really wasn't the point of today's episode. Uh, I've actually got a couple plans. We got a couple old tools uh, that are on the workshop, including balloons and grappling hooks, because I need to do something. I want to create or recreate the house from up. So I'm gonna have to find a house, cut it off its foundation, put a bunch of balloons on it and watch it fly to the sky. And then I thought, maybe we can go bigger. Maybe we can make a skyscraper fly. Also, I don't know why I, I have this Armageddon gun. I just think it's neat. It's a new gun and boom, <laughs> stuff flies. I mean, we could probably make a building fly. It works really well on people. That's nice. Oh boy, this is gonna be a messy episode. First, I should probably play with the balloons. So yeah, I had a lot of comments for the balloons. People were like, you need to play with the balloon mod. And I was like, what is the balloon mod? And then I was actually watching uh, other teardown people and I found Fudgy uh, had played with it a little bit too. And I was like, how did they miss this thing? So essentially it's like the Gary's mod balloons uh, that you get from the tool gun. You can just click on something and make it fly. So you can see I have lift up in the top left corner uh, that is, I don't know what it means. It just says 50. So I'm assuming, uh, it's 50 pounds per balloon, maybe? I don't know, but you can adjust it. So, oh, how heavy are these things? Uh, oh no. All right. We're gonna need a ton of balloons at 50. I might have to increase that. Come on, fly, you stupid zombie. Do the thing. Do, do the, oh, here it goes. Hold on, a couple more. Oh. <gasps> Look at it, it's so cute, it's a flying zombie, huh? We need to go faster, go faster. Go up to heaven, yay, we freed it. So, can I shove balloons in something's butt? You know, let's not do that. Hmm, yeah, if this doesn't work, I've got a couple other things. I've got a grappling hook. This is a Just Cause 2 uh, grappling hook, and I think I can connect two things together, but I'm kind of wondering, can I like slingshot something? So say if I were to put rockets on this and make it fly, like I'm gonna make a flying building. I, I don't wanna use rockets, but I think I could probably tether a bunch of stuff together and maybe create a, a slingshot effect or something. I don't know what I'm doing here today. Komodo has way too much time on his hands, but we need to go find a map with a house. All right, so I found this map called New Island and I feel like this might have the perfect set of houses. So the old man and up, which there's no way he was able to do that, he somehow lifted up the foundation too, which in tear down some maps you can get under it. How am I gonna actually do this in a safe manner? Uh, so those birds are really annoying. Should I try this with an incinerator? All right, here we go. Start cutting into the ground. How deep is the ground here? Oh, it's like one block. That's gonna be an issue. Okay, well, you know what? If we just cut the bottom here, uh, the first floor is gonna be ruined, but I wanna see if we can make this house fly. Uh, all right, cut to here, cut to here. All right, go through there. Uh, oh no, I forgot this light stuff on fire. Uh, I need like a laser cutter or something. Uh, on, on, I'm gonna save this person's house. It's fine, I'm gonna get the extinguisher out. Uh, here, put it out, put it out, put it out. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. Um, oh, it's still on fire. No, go out, go out. Uh, I don't have time for this. I mean, I guess the, the bottom floor can be a little bit crispy. Uh, okay, let's just finish this off. I wanna see if this is even possible. You know, what if this is how they moved houses in real life? Have you ever seen somebody do that? They actually like take up the house off the foundation. Oh, there it goes, it's loose. Okay, we need to put out the fire real quick. Um, I got this. Uh, folks, we have a bit of an issue. Okay, the house is completely engulfed in flames. <laughs> I can't get it out. Um, so we could still do the frame, right? Um, yeah, let's just get to the balloon portion of this. We still have a roof. Oh, well, we have somewhat of a roof. This is fine. So I wish I had a balloon number here, but at, I guess, 50 pounds per balloon. I don't know how many this is gonna take. Let me just expand this until we get lift. 
And then I'm gonna have to do it the easier way and probably increase the lift properties, but I really want to title my uh, video, I put a thousand balloons on a house just to try to make it fly. I don't know, maybe it won't take a thousand. I wish I knew how many clicks I was doing. Folks, I don't know if this is working or not. Wait. Wait, the house is moving a little bit. Look at how many balloons I've spawned in. Han, we can do this. We're going to make the up house, <laughs> except for it's, uh, the flaming edition. Uh, this is fine. Hold on, look, we're getting lift. Dude, I mean, it's only taking like a thousand clicks, but this is fine. Oh, there it goes. Han, I want to ride. Uh oh, Han, I want to get on top. Han, I want on top. Let me let me go with the, the house. <gasps> we're flying. Can I get inside real quick? Can I can I get inside? Oh, there's like no interior. Uh, it's all burned out. Well, I mean, you can't say Komodo didn't make a house fly with balloons. Um, I think I need a new tool. I love the incinerator gun. It's probably one of my favorite ones in Teardown. But it lights the house on fire. So I need like a laser cutter or something. Something that doesn't engulf uh, the objects in flames. Because I'd like to have a whole house. I just need to cut the foundation. Also, I want to make this little van fly real quick. There it goes. Oh, it's so cute. I like that it does that. And we have lift. Oh, the house is gone. That's nice. Okay. Let me go find a less destructive tool here. All right. So I have a laser cutter. It kind of looks like a laser pointer. Um, Let's try this house. So here, let's cut the little line here. Does this work still? Oh, let's go. Eh? Eh? Oh, there we go. Uh, this is much better. So if I go... All right. Yeah, the uh, the bottom floor isn't going to be perfect. Unless I can find a map that's got to elevate it like ground. Uh, it's going to have to be like this. Okay, keep cutting it here. We're going to have to go into the interior. But at least it's not lighting it on fire. That's the uh, the good portion here. Like if this is lighting it on fire, it'd be pointless. I'd like to ride up in the house. So I kind of want to be on like the second floor or something. Okay, we're now using the circle technique here to uh, cut everything. Okay, come on, come on. All right, we're almost through with the interior here. Uh, everything should be disconnected and the house should settle. There we go. How House is settled. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the same process with the balloons. I'm not gonna up them again. Like I want like a thousand balloons up there. You know, I think it's gonna take a lot more balloons this time because how much the fire actually melted that last house, it didn't really even have an interior. So I'm gonna be clicking for a while. Holy man. All right, we're getting some lift. It's a little lopsided. I need more balloons on this side. There we go. Oh, she's about to take off. All right, do I want to jump in yet? Here, let's jump in. And then maybe we'll place some on the roof like this. Okay, so the ceiling's gonna start lifting. We need more on this side. We need to counter the weight. Are we in the air? <gasps> it's working! We have the up house. Okay, so keep going on this side. Try to counter it a little bit. It's still leaning. Come on, baby. What's that bright? Oh, is that? Oh, that's the sun. Um. We're doing it. We're flying away in a house. I love this. We're going. Wait, what happens when we get out of the skybox here? Do we disappear? Do we die? Do we go to heaven? I mean, I'm probably not going there, but uh, I feel like we're picking up speed. This feels kind of like a rocket. What is going on? We probably should have tethered ourselves to the uh, the floor. Um, Han, can we look out? Oh, I don't see the ground anymore. We're going to space. It's shaking. This is not good. Um, can we pop? Oh, you know what? We can actually delete the balloons. I think it's control Z. Does that delete them? One of these deletes the balloon. Hold on. Wait, I think it's, uh, I think it's shift Z. So let's go shift Z. <gasps> hey, the balloons are gone. Wait, that would mean that we're crashing down to earth right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're picking up speed. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, I'm sinking into the ground. What is happening? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, what is going on right now? Okay, I'm looking. Oh, there's the ground. <laughs> what the? Oh, well, there's the house. <laughs> we just made the up house crash into the ground. That was awesome. All right, let's go do it with the skyscraper. All right, so we are in the Russian town, and you know what we got to do, folks. We got to make a skyscraper somehow fly, and then we're going to drop it from the sky because uh, it's going to be funny. So let's go ahead. Oh, this is going to be hard to do with the laser pointer. Also, I still want to play with the grappling hooks. I feel like we could attach cars to it. Oh, and can I go clunk and clunk? Did that work? Oh, it did work. 
All right, so this is going to be like one of those just married cars where it's got all the cans attached to it, except for it's going to be, uh, oh, did that not stick? Hey, you shush. On, stick to that. It might be too, f well, that one's stuck, or I think it's stuck. Hold on, is that a line going through it? Uh, no. Okay, I need you to stick to that. They might be too far away. I know there's a way to tether stuff. Wait, is that tethered? Okay, we got one tether to it. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to cut this in half. We're going to do it towards the bottom. You know, we did this uh, with the thrusters and we made it fly. But I actually think the uh, this will be more impressive if you make it go up with the uh, the old uh, balloons. Do we want to use this? Oh, this is a lot better. Okay, so I changed the settings a little bit on this laser cutter. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Also, I still have a tether attached to me right now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, we are going to have this done quick. Wait, what's this creepy person doing? Oh, never mind. That is a... Oh, that's a tank. Oh, I'm still attached to this tether. Okay, we need to undo this. Uh, oh, oops. Okay, there was something explosive in the bottom of the tower. Okay, Mr. Tether, you got to go away. Oh, so this grappling hook is attached to my body. So technically, I'm attached to the building. That's actually probably a good thing, right? Uh, maybe? All right. Oh, yep, it's pulling me up. This is fine. I want to be up there here in a second. I I'm still doing some work, though. Oh, there it goes. Wait, what? Uh, it's settled, right? Hold on, let's cut a little more off here. There we go. All right, we're going to clean up the uh, excess debris real quick. So let's do that. All right, so we're definitely going to have to increase the lift properties of this by a lot in order to make the skyscraper uh, fly with balloons. So if I click Y, oh boy, we're going to need a lot more than that. I'm thinking like a thousand pounds. I'm assuming this is pounds. I could be completely wrong, by the way. Uh, we're going to set it to a thousand. And we're going to fill the, uh, the roof here with balloons. You know, we could just use the Armageddon weapon and just eat the building. But all right, here we go. There goes the truck. At least we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, this is going to take a lot of balloons. This is going to be funny once they uh, fly off. By the way, wait, I think it's tethered to this pole. The building is. I thought it was tethered to a car. Hold on. I think the building wants to lift. So if I were to cut that connection, let's fill this real quick. And if I were to cut that connection, will the building take off? So say, uh, let's do this, not with that. Let's do this laser cutter. Let's go yoink. Oh, I kind of thought that was attached. Okay, so it's not flying. Oh, this is going to take a lot. Hey, right, the building just shifted a little bit when I put balloons on this side. Okay, it's trying to do something. It's not quite ready, though. Uh, look, it's moving. Oh. <gasps> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think this is gonna work. I mean, we had to stick it up to a thousand, but hey, you kind of work with what you got here. All right, what do we have? Oh, wait, we got it. Look, we have lift. We are lifting up a building with balloons. Dude, we're doing it. We are making a skyscraper take off. Komodo has done it. Wait, it's kind of floating now. It's like a hot air balloon. Could I tether this now? Uh, let's get the just cause tether. Actually, which one does the two tethers? Uh, one of these hooks you can go clunk and clunk and clunk. There we go. It's tethered to the... Oh, it's getting pulled down. <gasps> oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I just broke something with the tethers. Oh, Komodo shouldn't have done this. Here, pull it this way. Pull it that way. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Oh, we're on it right now. Okay, we are tethered to this. How do I undo tethers? Uh, I probably should have looked at the tool before I did this. Uh, this is fine. Just let it go. Just let it go. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening here. Komodo has ruined this completely. Hold on. Hold on. Go away, Tether. Clear Tethers. Okay, I think I might have cleared them. No, they're still flashing across my screen. Clear Tethers. Go away, Tethers. Uh, how do we... Uh, this... Oh! What the heck is this thing? Oh, this must have been another laser. Oh, that thing is devastating. We're going to play with that later. Uh, hold on. Let's see if we can cut these Tethers off. Uh, come on, tethers, go away. We must set the building free. What is going on right now? Uh, okay. Um, I think I did a bad here. On, is it tethered to that tree or something? Uh, well, the tree doesn't exist anymore. Come on, take off, you dingling. All right, uh, we might need to just nuke the area in order to get these tethers off. All right, here we go. Nuke and there we go. This is totally going to make it take off, right? 
Uh, look at that. I mean, you guys can't say we didn't do it today. We made a house fly. We made a skyscraper fly with balloons. Like, I, I feel like I did uh, Pixar or Disney. I don't know who made up. I think it was Disney. I did somebody proud. Oh, no. Yeah, this is bad. Well, not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that you shouldn't ride in houses flying through the sky because they, uh, when they lose their balloons, they uh, have a really massive impact with the ground. And also, this building is being shredded. Hey, I think we freed it, though. We destroyed the tether points. Hey, say goodbye to the building. On. It's going to take off. I mean, it's losing floors as we speak. Uh-oh. Why is it coming this way? Uh, this is, like, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like, the building's floating and starting to fly away, but it's losing its insides right now. Oh, there it goes. Hey, it's getting lighter. It's on, like, the Jenny Craig diet or something, and it's, like, losing its weight, and it's ready just to take off and go to the sky. Yep, there it goes. It's, it's going to heaven. Well, uh, yeah, we learned all those things today. Well, we'll see you guys next time.